You're watching The Breakfast Club. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're riding around with your kids in your car, you might want to turn it down just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. We're talking big penises this morning now. Hold on, you ain't do the Freaky Friday. Oh, you're right. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's, it's Freaky, 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 Freaky Friday. Friday. Yes, and the Freaky, yeah. Freaky, Freaky Friday question is about penises. We want to know, have you had a big penis that just messed you all up, all up in your inside yeah, now? This, this came from the homie Tiffany Haddish. Mm -hmm. uh, Tiffany Haddish from the Carl Michael Show. She was on Breakfast Club on Monday, and she had this story to tell. You know, I got a lot of dick. You ain't going to be able to handle this. And I was like, boy, please, I don't have Bring enough it. dicks. It's nothing. I know how to throw this ass back. Like, boy, please, like, just make sure, <laughs> like, make sure you got that lube in them condoms because you about to get the shit fucked out of you. And then he pulled his dick out. I was like, God damn. <laughs> like, I was like, ooh, that's not real. <laughs> this is not natural. I know he got, he about to pass out. That dick is too big. He can't be standing right now. And he came with it and I was like, and I was taking it and I was throwing it back and it was killing me. Oh, it was killing me. But, you had a point but I had a point to prove. Yes. And, like, and, and whatever I say, I do. Yes. Or it was the most painful thing. It was like, it was horrible. So it was like putting a flashlight in your pussy and you're sitting down on it super hard so over and over. So big dicks good for you. Nah, they tilt your uterus yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. So 800-585-1051. We're talking about big penises. Now, Yee, have you ever had a big penis? Uh, yes, I have. How has it affected you? I mean, it was a while ago. And I will say this. It just means that you have to have a lot of extra lubrication, like as far as they have to do a lot more work to make sure. You can't just stick it in. It has to be a lot of foreplay. They have to get you ready. He's probably got to use his mouth a little bit too. But sometimes it's just too much. It's too painful. You don't want to go through all that. That's right. You I, need a nice average size penis like mine. Seven inches, three, four, eight when it's warm out. My penis is like the baby bear's porridge. It's just right. If you uh, have read my book, Black Privilege, Opportunity Comes to Those Who Create It, I tell a story about how when my wife, my now wife was in college, she cheated on me with a man who had an extraordinary penis and um, I don't even know how big the penis was. I just know when I asked how big it was, she said, I ain't never seen no like that in my life. So, and that affected you and that hurt absolutely. you? Absolutely. I, 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 you I, never got over it. I started ordering uh, Magna RX pills out the back of the XXL magazine. Mm -hmm. Those are penis enlargement pills. It didn't work. And I was doing this exercise that, that, that they told you to do where you grab the tip of your penis when mm -hmm. it's soft and you stretch it out, you know? So I don't know if it worked or not, to be honest with you. But Well, what about you, Amber? Have you ever had a penis that was too big for you to handle? Uh, no. Okay. Um, All right, no. that's good. Well, you must right. be huge. Shut up. Tell us how you got that phantom. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a phantom, you ass. Kenda. Yes. Good morning. Now, you had a huge penis before? Okay, listen. My ex was Jamaican and white. And I don't know how this happened. So we you, were you together for to a long Sean time. Paul? <laughs> Shut up. Go ahead. You know, it's funny. His first name was Sean. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, so this ended up happening. So we were dating for a long time. We never had sex. I was like, you know what? Let's finally break the barrier. He knew some of my sister's friends. All my sister's friends were like, he's a whore. His penis is huge. You're a girl. You're a little girl. You can't take it. Get away from him. Go away. Run. And I was like, no. And I should have because wow. I ended up in the hospital. You went to the you hospital? You ended up in the hospital? What was wrong? Yes, because it, it was so big that it like I felt like it tore something inside of me. Well, you wanted you the one who wanted to break the barrier. You got your barrier. Yeah, he broke. broke the barrier, all right. Sorry for you. Yes, kid, he though. broke the barrier. Damn. I wanted to die. Never again. Never again. Charlemagne, you're fine with your seven and a half. It's perfectly fine. Woo! You don't mind. Thank you. That's right. Talk down on these big penis so brothers. That was, that was it. So you were done with him after that. Yeah, she was done with him. Tally. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Tally, you got a big penis. You had a a penis so big you had discharge. Yes, they do rip it open. Ow. So you really going to blame your vaginal discharge on somebody's <laughs> penis? <laughs> no, I mean, like, it was so big. And, like, I'm really small. Like, I'm a small girl. And he had, like, it was so, I've never seen something so big. I Shut was, up. Like, you sound like my on. wife. What? <laughs> when she was messing with another guy. Never, I was, like, so scared. I'm like, I think you're going to break me. And he's like, no, you'll be fine. You're fine. You'll take it. I'm just like... No, and then, like, a few minutes into it, I was, like, in so much pain. I was, like, get the hell off of me, and I was, like, bleeding. I'm, like, you definitely, like, ripped the out of my vagina. So, <laughs> basically, what you're saying is big penises are a problem. No, it's, it's no, just, like, just say yes. 
Okay, yes, they sometimes are. <laughs> you are hated this morning, man. Shut up. What's the biggest penis you had, and how has it affected you? Y'all be out here talking about these guys be having penises like police cop flashlights and all kind of stupid stuff. I got a 7-inch, 3 4 penis, 8 inches when it warm. What's the average penis size in America? About 8 and a half. Yeah, so you're a little below. You're a little Shut below up. average. That ain't average. Ain't no way in hell 8 and a half average. Hello, who's this? <laughs> this is Jeff. Hey, Jess. Now, you had a big penis before? That's my current situation. What happened? What, what's, what's going on? What, what are you doing to prepare? So I'm kind of seeing this guy, and we've been going at it, but he be killing my uterus. Oh, my goodness. So I figured out a way where it can work for us. How do you, how does, so how do you make it work? Gotta, well, he got to eat in the box first, get it all lubricated, or I just got to go with a plain OK bike. How old are you? I'm in my 40s. You sound so like you're 40 plus. I've seen before. No, she said she's in her 40s. Oh, you're in your 40s. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She says she has some penises before. Got you, got you. I sure have. So, so do you like <laughs> your current situation or you don't like your current situation? I, I actually love it. So it's the repositioning and the loop. Okay. Repositioning in the lube is how you handle a big penis. There you go. That's what I'm saying. You got to be that like... little snippet right there? Can you say that again, Charlemagne? No. <laughs> I can't, actually. Candace! We don't need you to. <laughs> Candace! Hey, how are you guys? Now, Candace, you had a penis so big the doctor thought you were raped? Yes. So I went I went to the doctor the <laughs> next day because some things were not right down there. And she asked me, she said, uh, were you raped? And I, and I said, no, absolutely not. It was consensual. But it was so rough that it had caused fissures. And wow. I ended up getting a yeast infection from it because it was so rough. And she said something about the bacteria, the air, the in and out. That it was it was bad. Now yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. People get urinary tract infections. She got a yeast infection. Anything can happen. I'm Jeez. so tired of you girls blaming y'all vaginal Thank discharge you, on big penises. All right, some it's some of y'all diet that's causing this vaginal discharge. But I will say that was the best start, the best call we've gotten all day. Because from now on, if I hear anything about a man with a big penis, I'm gonna tell him he got a rape. Oh, stop Yo, it! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> I don't want no old rapey penis. Well, I want an old big rapey penis for. Sebastian, so we're talking big penises. So you had a big penis before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Did you have rectal prolapse afterwards? No, sir. I'm a professional. No, talk no, no. We, we don't play those games. Talk to me about how you rolled that D from the back. Well, for, for the most part, you have to know your body, you know, what it comes down to. And so I know for it to, quote, unquote, enter inside. So for me, it's either doggy style or on my back. If I'm on my back, it goes straight in without a problem. You got to know how to breathe. You got to know how to relax. If you tight. And then, too, I'm also like, I'm 6'5". I'm 6'5", 265 hey, wow. pounds. And I bet you the dude you had sex with was short. He climbed the tree. He did. He climbed the tree. Okay. Wow, good for you. So he, you 6'5". So, how tall was he approximately? About 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, and how big was his penis, you think? 13 and a half, I measured. 13 and a half? Goodness yes, gracious. Sir. Did you poo-poo better afterwards? Actually, no. What happens is you get clogged up, especially if, you know, he was like a little, uh, he, I don't want to say a jackrabbit, but he was doing his thing. You get what I'm saying? Oh, he's doing and it so all after fast. a while, you get, yeah, you, well, I mean. So he's yeah, pushing he the poo-poo up. He's pushing the poo-poo up. Yeah, I was clogged for a minute. And uh -huh. so that was, you get clogged for like a day or two, and then after that, everything kind of drops back down in place, and then after that, you're kind of good to go. Is it worth it? Did you film it? It was. Oh, it was. It was. I mean, I'm not a size, you know, in my community, they call them size queens. I'm not a size queen. I wasn't even really checking for dude. It's just that when we kind of met and then it kind of rolled out, you know, we was going to get it, you know, but when we um, got back to the crib, it kind of just like rolled out like a tire. That's interesting because I would always think that if you was a gay man and you was a bottom, you would want somebody with a small penis. Cause I, no, would... not, not necessarily because I've had other big penises and it was like watching paint dry. It was like, yeah, you got it, but you ain't got no rhythm. You ain't got no stroke. You ain't got no charisma. You have nothing. It was like, oh, but, I had, but I had, you know, a seven, a six and a half. I had one like you, Charlemagne, but old dude is like, he knew how to what? write with his pencil. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, one so, like Charlemagne. Okay. I had a, I got, I'm yeah, seven so inches, he, three, four, eight when it's warm up. Hey, that, I mean, that that's the business, you know. Nobody can, you know, they won't throw up on that. You know what I'm saying? They can take a break <laughs> down. Up on it. All right, my G. Well, you have a blessed weekend, sir. All right, man. Most definitely. It's Pride Weekend, but you know I'm about to get it. Hey, oh, it is Pride Weekend in New York this weekend. You're right. All right. Yes, sir. Well, you enjoy it, man. <laughs> <laughs> he sound like it's going down. That's right. Let's get it. Down the entire weekend, you feel me, son? Well, wear some protection. Make sure you got protection, bro. 
Always. I'm a professional, remember? All there right, you go. I remember. There you right. go. And what's your name, bro? Oh, he won't leave yeah, you're like, mind your business. You <laughs> don't worry about what my name is. Well, nah. what's the moral of the story? The, uh, the, the moral of the story is there is no moral <laughs> to the story. No moral right? story. <laughs> Good things come in small packages. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, whatever. You know? I'm just kidding. All I heard, all I'm hearing is that size is overrated this morning. So. Let me look at you. So excited. As a man with an average size penis, I'm happy to hear that.